It started with a kiss. I never thought it would come to this. Bubs, I haven't told a soul this until now. As a teenager before bed, I would say a prayer. I would lay in bed or kneel beside it, hands clenched together, eyes closed so that I can't envision my prayer. I would pray for a woman in my life, and not just any woman, a woman that will be my better half, a woman that will complete me. It must be pretty obvious by now that my prayers has been answered. And to this very day, I still pray. I pray how grateful I am to have a smart, funny, energetic, and sexy woman like you in my life. Pups, to our future us. Alka, remember, today we're giving Carl to you, and it comes with a lifelong warranty. <laughs> but a strict no return policy. Throughout our 20s, Alki would often tell me she was ready to find her soulmate, and she often thought that might never happen. It was New Year's Day 2015, and Alki told me she had met someone. So I was working with a guy in a fitness store at the time. We said, oh, let's do something random and go out. And I said to him, you bring a friend and I'll bring my cousin and not ever thinking of any intention that Kyle and Elkie would be together five years later. So anyway, we went out that New Year's Eve and Elkie and Kyle just hit it off and the rest is history. When we first met Kyle, he was a little bit shy, a little bit relaxed, the exact opposite to Elkie. <laughs> And I clearly remember the first couple of meetings. I'm very bad with accents, and he had a very strong South African accent. <laughs> but it's all good now. I'm, I got used to his accent, and we can communicate quite well. And I don't have to ask him, excuse me, what did you say? Hello, everybody. Hey. Carl came to Melbourne in 2006 to complete a course at RMIT University. But then Carl fell in love with Melbourne and decided that he didn't want to come back to South Africa. Later on in life, we were quite relieved. We always thought he'd end up being a 40-year-old virgin. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but then he fell in love for the second time. It was with his uh, now lifelong partner, Alka. And we will be forever grateful. To my newest daughter-in-law, Alka, you are amazing. Alka has done such an excellent job. She even two weeks ago knocked on our front door. When we opened up, she stood with this bowl of hot wax and she waxed the hairs out of our nose. <laughs> both, <laughs> both Kyle and myself. <laughs> That's how organized and how much she pay attention to small details. <laughs> He is the jigsaw to Elkie's personality and has fitted into our family very, very smoothly. We have gained our fourth son and are very blessed. Elkie and Kyle, and as we say, Prost, cheers, Guzen Haidt and Yasu!
see my beautiful wife, Bubs. I am so happy to share the rest of my life with you. I'm so happy to be your man, your husband, and occasionally your handbag. <laughs> To work on your every nerve, the good ones and the bad. To tell you the truth, whenever I went on a soul adventure, an adventure for the soul, I would always come back to you. I always thought of you, wishing you were there right beside me, taking in that sunset, breathing in that fresh air, feeling the wind in our hair. <laughs> I just cannot see myself exploring every corner of this earth without you. I love you. I will always love you. There will be times we will find ourselves in rough waters but I have a good feeling that our future together will be blessed, will be strong, and most importantly, an example to our future us. <laughs>